his favorite outfit. Here's your next docent. Hello, my name is Kaylee, and I am a junior docent from the Dolly Museum. The name of my painting is Eggs on a Plate Without a Plate, from 1932. Salvador Dolly was a member of a group called Surrealists. Surrealists were mostly artists and writers who wanted to be creative by using a part of the brain that deals with the unconscious and the irrational. This group was inspired by dreams and chance, and as a result, they would paint images that didn't have connection with reality and had a very bizarre look. The person who influenced them was Sigmund Freud, a doctor who felt that dreams could be interpreted. One fun painting from this period was Eggs on a Plate Without a Plate. Believe it or not, Dolly said this painting illustrates memories from before I was born. Do you have any memories from before you were born? You may be surprised that Dolly said that... Dolly said that he, all he remembers from before he was born was seeing a pair of eggs being fried on a pan without a pan. He paints these eggs in his work. But they are on a pan. However, the third egg hangs in the air by a string. This is the egg without a pan. Um, Dolly is also telling us that in these images from before he was born were in full color. So he uses vibrant red, orange, yellow, and blue. In the window, if you look closely, you will see young Dolly and his father. This was the room that Dolly had for his studio where he would paint his pictures. That would be where his laundry room was. This string represents the umbilical cord and this egg represents him being inside of his mom. He, these two eggs he remembered seeing in, in his mom's stomach and when he saw Bella he knew that he had seen her eyes before. So he compared these eggs to her eyes and then he knew that they were meant to be. And now on with our next docent, Dara. Hello, my name is Dara. I'm going to tell you about the sculpture that Dolly made of the Venus de Milo. Dolly loved the original Venus, which is in a museum in France. We think that the original Venus is, um, was holding a mirror in one of her hands and a shield in the other. The drawer poles on this Venus it, are made of sable, a ferret creature. <laughs> and um, Dolly put the drawers there so he could pull them out and see her thoughts and feelings. Some people also say that he put them there to so she could carry that stuff around because she has no hands. <laughs> And, um, and, oh, um, Venus will be in the last picture, the hallucinogenic Toreador. Hello everybody, my name is Samantha, and I'm a junior docent.